जाति आशय स्निग्धे साधो संग स्वतो गे Shri Rupa Goswami in describing the processes of devotional service whereby a devotee can advance to the highest stage of love of God Krishna Prema describes that one should associate with more advanced devotees who are of the same category the, the same aspiration and in their company taste the meanings of Srimad Bhagavatam and of course uh, Rupa Goswami he uh, among the 64 processes also mentions residing in Mathura uh, associating with devotees and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given uh, the five most important processes of devotional services as Sadhu Sangha Krishnanam Bhagavad Shravan Mathura Vas Shraddhai Shri Murti Shravan that one should associate with devotees, chant the names of Lord Krishna, uh, Sadhu Sangha Namakirtan, Bhagavad Shravan, one should hear Srimad Bhagavatam, reside in Mathura and worship the deities. So this uh, Bhagavad Vidya Pitam following in the footsteps of the uh, departed and much revered and respected uh, Gopi Pandana Prabhu aims at giving education with devotees who are themselves relishing the mellows of Srimad Bhagavatam within Vrindavan and giving one the opportunity to engage in these five uh, principal processes of devotional service, especially uh, studying the Srimad Bhagavatam. It's not principally about Sanskrit study. It's, it, the aim is not is not specifically to learn Sanskrit because there are so many Mayavadis and so on who learn Sanskrit. But it, it's an opportunity to learn Sanskrit for the sake of <coughs> relishing Srimad Bhagavatam. Now some may say, well, what, what do you need to learn Sanskrit for? You can get it in English. <coughs> in translation, that's true. Um, but as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, that Krishna Tula Bhagavad Devu Sarva Shroi Pati Shloke Pati Okare Nana Arta Khoi That the Srimad Bhagavatam is just like Krishna uh, as Krishna is all powerful and can give shelter to everyone and in every verse and every syllable there are so many meanings so well, Srimad Bhagavatam is Krishna, it's unlimited Prabhupada gave us the Srimad Bhagavatam. We, we can study Prabhupada's Bhagavatam and get everything by studying Shri, the Bhagavatam, Prabhupada's commentary. But Srila Prabhupada also wanted some devotees to uh, go more deeply into the Bhagavatam. In, in his Bhagavatam introduction, he recommended reading the commentaries of so many different acharyas, which requires to know in Sanskrit. So it's a specialized program. Um, for devotees who want to go very deeply into Bhagavatam. Uh, I strongly advise that those who do so should have studied Prabhupada's books and have, have good faith in Srila Prabhupada and what he's teaching. And the, the great result of studying this course is that one should see how brilliantly, how empoweredly Srila Prabhupada has taken all the meanings and of all the commentaries of the previous acharyas and presented them in English, it will increase one's appreciation of Srila Prabhupada and one's ability to communicate that to others. So, anyway, the, the, the Bhagavatam is unlimited, so I, I can't in a few minutes, even if I had millions of lifetimes, describe the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. But it's, it's a great opportunity, especially for younger people, if you're bright and you have the blessings of your guru to do so, then you can study. And uh, with the aim in, in Vedic culture, one learns not just for the sake of learning, but for the, of sharing that with others. So associate with advanced devotees, study Srimad Bhagavatam, learn, and then you can also pass it on in the next generation. I mentioned the Bhagavata Vidya Pitam of Gopi Panda and Prabhu, and that's with the aim of carrying on the tradition, this Iskon Bhagavata Mahavidyalayam is carrying on, the, the attempt is there to carry on the same tradition.